Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. It pains me to start off like this, but um, congratulations, Toronto Maple Leafs fans out there. You finally made it past the first round. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Completely unexpected. But I just, I had to say it. You know that I had to, I had to say it. Oh, and by the way, breaking news, it turns out Snoop Dogg is a part of one of the groups that's looking at, at buying the, the Ottawa Senators. That was just breaking news on the Sam LaPrade show on City News just a bit earlier on today. So you got Ryan Reynolds and Snoop Dogg fighting it out to purchase the Ottawa Senators. Well, let's move on to our first guest of the show because uh, he's been on the show before. He wears many hats, though, and he's here wearing a different hat today. I'm joined by Steve Morrow, um, owner of Venlin Gifts. Welcome. Yes, Great to have thanks you here, there. Steve. Thanks for having me. Pops Paninis, you were here before when, yep. when Sam was filling in for me, but wanted to talk about this today because really unique in what you offer to to <laughs> clients let's first of all like what was the inspiration behind that the, um, the it was actually we wanted to start the company years ago but we found that literally every gift shop you go to has the exact same things okay it didn't matter if you went online or you went to a store it was like literally it's a pillow with an embro embroidering on it or a cup or whatever right we wanted something a little different then when COVID hit we we're kind of like nobody's really working but we're working and we got approached by one of the reps and he said hey we've got a unique product which we'll talk about in a minute okay um, and that just kind of spearheaded the entire project and now we have an entire website with literally thousands of gifts on it nice nice well yeah we are going to talk about some of the unique things I wanted to ask you about the the name though Ven Lynn Gifts. What, what did the yeah, name? It's come actually from? a mix. Uh, we couldn't okay. come up with a name with it, and one of my friends said, "Why don't you just take your last, your your first, the last part of your first name, okay. which is Stephen?" And my oldest daughter, who I was partners with during that time, her name is Caitlin. And she ah. said, just take the Van and the Lynn, put them together, and then there you go. You've got Van Lynn. Okay, so. simple yeah. enough. Well, we are going to get to um, the, the, these really unique, cool products, but you brought some of the other products, as you said, you know, some of the fun stuff that, that you decided that you'd, you'd curate. Um, tell me about, you know, how you go about curating and Well, we and look for things stuff. that are a little different. Okay. Uh, again, we don't want stuff you can find in any other gift shop. Don't get me wrong. We do have some items that you can find, like the mugs that are here. You can find those right. in a lot of different gift shops. We brought them in because they're popular, um, but we also have fun little things like uh, with Mother's Day coming up we have our uh, wine and coffee mug set yeah this is which great. is that one I'm gonna yeah. turn this on over. it oh well, good thing and, that's made uh, of cast iron you eh? break you so buy, you can Derek. drop yeah, it yeah. yeah so we have on <laughs> the uh, the coffee cup it says before school and then on the wine cup it says after school so right. any any parent knows Sometimes that's needed. Welcome to live TV. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Where things can go wrong at, at, at yeah. any moment. And so let's talk about the unbreakable piece that I just so, yeah, grabbed again, there. Again, talking about parenting, you ever have a kid that loses his key all the time? Uh, yeah. Put it in the garden, put your key in it. Oh, it's waterproof, that's a great it's covered. Idea. You could literally, as you notice, throw it across the room and <laughs> it's going to stay, stay intact. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Got some other cute um, items here I wanted to, to share with everybody at home. Tell yeah. me about that. Well, there's a lot of the rustic decor coming in, or they call it urban chic and whatnot. So in this one here, it's a little, you know, it's a canoe with a salt and pepper shaker, yeah. or you could even use it for Parmesan cheese, stuff like that. So it's a nice little great decoration. Great for the cottage, the cabin, exactly. or something like that yeah. as well. Right? And we have the fun ones, like we brought in the fish. Yeah, I'm going to um, grab those. Yeah, Love there's this. a fish salt and pepper shaker. We also have like great. ski boots, um, all kinds of different things, uh, avocado and toast shakers. So there's a lot of people. We actually sell a lot of salt and pepper shakers to people who collect. So, so, that's awesome. Yeah, I love it. we I have love the frequent it. flyers that come in all the time, and we have new people just for gifts and whatnot. Very nice. Um, let's move on to I think what everyone's been waiting for, the and that is ones. these. I mean, these are unbelievable. Where yes. did you find out about so these? So this is what started the entire company. We got a call from the rep, and he said, we, like I told him, I don't want to carry your product because everybody carries it. And okay. he's like, No, no, you've got to check these out. And we started with twelve of these back in twenty twenty. Okay. Uh, and this just boomed instantly within the first weekend. Uh, like we literally sold out our whole warehouse. It was insane. Um, they're made of a marble resin. They're heavy. Like oh yeah, that, that one's probably about 14 pounds. Okay. Um, and the nice part is, is because it's a marble resin, they're a lot more durable. But you can also work it to get more detail in it. Um, the artist is uh, Matt Buckley. He's from the UK. Okay. Uh, he designs them all by hand. Uh, puts them all together. Of course, you know they're, they're they're factory produced because of the amount that are being done. Right. But the quality and the detail and every single one of them. Like I'm going to turn this around. I don't know if you can catch that, but it's got a signature on the inside. Yeah, and then okay. his signature is on, on every, every single, single piece, one to right? say it's authentic and it's genuine. Um, the horse at the front is probably one of our bigger pieces. That one is uh, 45 pounds. 45 pounds. Yeah, like wow. it's not, uh, marble resin's not cheap and it's not, um, it, it, it's not light. It's very right, durable right. and heavy. Um, this but little very guy, reasonably priced, right? Yes. I mean, you have, you know, you, oh, yeah, you, we go you anywhere from $100 up prices, to $1,300, right? depending on the size of the piece. Right. Right. This little guy, um, this monkey, yeah, yeah he's look at this. Um, the orangutan. He actually has a mother 
which was a little too big to bring in, but right. he sits in the mother's arm, so you have the whole set, but you can still take him out, and they're coming out with two other orangutan babies to go with it. So they're kind of building this whole collection of different animals, and I mean, and sometimes, you know, faces yeah. and statues yeah. and stuff like that, so they're very... I loved, I loved the story that you shared just before we went to air, and that was how, you know, you, you started this, and, and you were what, you were way up north, right, yes. and you, you, you barely had any cell coverage, and, and this, this sort of idea was happening kind of behind the scenes, right? Well, yeah, we launched time. it on a Friday, okay. and Friday afternoon I drove up north, because I love to fish, and I was up there, no reception, no nothing, right. and then on the Sunday I happened to be walking back to the cabin, and I guess I just hit a spot of reception for a split second, and my phone exploded, uh, and I was just standing there in the middle of the forest like what the and dumbstruck by the fact that like 32 <laughs> orders in two days on a product that we didn't even know it would even work or take off right um, and when I walked into the cabin my buddies were just like you look like you saw ghosts and I'm like I don't know what to make of this like wow um, and then it just hasn't stopped since right so we literally have an entire warehouse uh, just outside of Campville or in Campville actually we used okay. to be outside of Campville now we're in Campville we need a bigger spot uh, and it's literally filled with edge sculptures yeah like I mean where what sort of numbers are you talking about I mean because as you said you know, like literally in 48 hours you get 33. 32. This must have just exploded for you. And depending on time of year, uh, October, November, people are ramping up for Christmas. Uh, we're literally like we bring an extra help to start moving the warehouse out because it just ships and we ship all across Canada. Okay. Um, we've actually had to cut off U.S. shipping because it was just too much. Oh, I see. So we like right. let's just stay in Canada, work on that for now, and just you know get our framework into place because it did explode so much. Are these uh, are they okay for outdoors? Like, could you put them in your garden? I... <sighs> we don't recommend it some okay. people want to put them in their fish tank and you know different things like that um, if you're gonna do anything outside of like not inside we do recommend you glaze it with something but we don't know what the wear is gonna be right. like or I if see. you're gonna lose your color but right. uh, mostly for indoor uh, we have some people like one gentleman uh, on his entrance way into the house took two of the horses so when you walk in he's got two big horses as you walk in wow. absolutely gorgeous and they no send kidding. pictures you do have though um d different categories like i was on the website so you do have like garden decor if people are interested yes. in that not necessarily these yeah. right yeah we have um sir, uh, cement okay uh, they're made of concrete uh, right. painted white there's gargoyles um i think we have some angels as well and those are great for gardens because they're made to be sitting outside right, and weathered and whatnot and each one what i love is they're a little different because they're all made in a cast like for the cement um, the mold uh, sometimes you get that little weathering already into it so when you get it each one is unique because it's going to have little indifferences um ideas on on expansion you're bringing in new product lines um, Anything as for we the keep future? going like this one here this little puffin i'm going to move him to the front is sure. okay this guy yeah. here he actually just came in this morning. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, nice. so we keep getting more and more. The company keeps expanding. That's how well it's doing. Um, and we keep bringing in more product. We started with 12 of the sculptures. Now we're up to almost 30. And then Very we keep cool. getting, we have another one coming in. It's an elephant head with really? the big ears. Um, like, a big, like a 40-some yeah. pound? And it retail, oh, I think it's more than that. It retails for $1,400. Unbelievable. It is, that's how heavy it is. Like so unique. Oh, yeah. um, Steve, really appreciate the time today. I just want to remind everybody, I, I, I know that it came up on screen many, many times, but venlingifts.com to find out more information, and they've got their entire product line available there. Uh, we'll be back with more daytime right after this.